Hi everyone, it is Wednesday, February 25th. It's pink shirt day, as you can see, I'm wearing my pink shirt to stand up to bullying. You know, it's really easy to wear a pink shirt. Uh, I think it's important that we do these symbolic things. But I think what's more important is not just wearing a shirt and tweeting out the fact that you're wearing pink and you stand up to bullying. I think actions speak louder than words. Uh, when I see Jim Prentice, when I see Gordon Dirks, when I see a whole bunch of PC MLAs who voted in favor of Bill 10, tweeting out pictures of themselves wearing pink shirts, it makes me, well, it makes me cynical, but it also makes me pretty angry. Uh, people are hurt every day. Uh, kids are hurt every day who are uh, lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, just because of the, uh, their sexuality and their gender and sexual identification. We have an opportunity in this province to fix that. We had a great opportunity with Lori Blakeman's Bill 202, but the PC government, Jim Prentice, Gordon Dirks, and 40 other PC MLAs voted in favor of Bill 10, one of the most divisive and hurtful pieces of legislation in the history of our province. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm a bit cynical and a bit angry when I see them wearing their pink shirts and happily tweeting away that they support anti-bullying, because any party that proposes and votes for Bill 10 can't possibly support anti-bullying. I want you to know that me and the Alberta Party, well, we're very strongly supportive of our LGBTQ community, and we're very supportive of any anti-bullying initiative to really bring respect to our schools, to our communities, to our workplaces. That's what this is all about. That's what a pink shirt's really all about. It's actions speaking louder than words. I'm Greg Clark. I'm leader of the Alberta Party. Thanks for listening.